powerful storms with damaging high winds threatened several states in the southeast early Friday, as residents elsewhere in the U.S. cleared debris from deadly severe weather that produced twisters in Michigan, Tennessee, and other states. Storms rolled into Tallahassee, Florida, where numerous trees were toppled around the state's capital city, authorities said Friday morning. Wind gusts of 71 miles per hour were recorded by a weather station near the state capitol complex, the National Weather Service reported. Florida State University announced its campuses in Tallahassee were closed Friday due to the severe weather. Non-essential personnel, students and visitors should avoid campuses in Tallahassee until further notice. The school said in a social media post. The city of Tallahassee said on social media platform X that possible tornadic activity caused the widespread damage in the Florida like capital, especially to electric lines and numerous down yeah, trees. The city said more than 66,000 customers are without electric service, and 11 substations were damaged by the storm. Restoration will possibly take through the weekend, the announcement said. Strong thunderstorms also were expected in Alabama near the Florida Panhandle, where gusty winds could knock down tree limbs. In Mississippi's capital city of Jackson, authorities on Friday were asking residents to conserve water after a power outage at one of its major water treatment plants. JXN Water, the local water utility, said in a statement that customers can expect reduced water pressure as workers assess damages due to storms that rolled through the region overnight. The Weather Service said Hickory Hills and surrounding areas near the coast were likely to get severe weather Friday morning, and that hail with the potential to damage vehicles was expected. More than 320,000 homes and businesses across the South, from Mississippi to North Carolina, were without electricity Friday morning, according to the website Power Outage Us. Most of those outages were in Florida, where lights and air conditioning were out for more than 180,000 customers. Several tornado warnings and watches were issued by the National Weather Service on Friday morning but were lifted by midday as the threat shifted to damaging high winds. Since Monday, 39 states have been under threat of severe weather and at least four people have died. On Wednesday and Thursday, about 220 million people were under some sort of severe weather risk, said Matthew Elliott, a storm prediction center forecaster. Yeah, okay. Meanwhile, the Tallahassee morning storm wreaked havoc on education in Florida and said the storm had severe impacts. The, the Flying High Circus tent is no longer standing, according to reporter Douglas Soule. The tent material is twisted around gnarled metal beams on the soaked ground. The circular bleaches are shattered in multiple spots. Wires vine through everything. Meanwhile, after trying to take it on a case-by-case -case basis, Leon County Schools administrators made the call at 9.15 a.m. to close all schools for the day. The announcement came less than an hour after the district said it would be opening all elementary schools except Fort Braden and Woodville. Many high school students had arrived at schools before the worst of the storms blew through, which led them to bunker down in media rooms and hallways after the tornado warning was issued. Leon County Schools is assessing damage and advises parents that safety comes first. School District spokesperson Chris Petley says there are many schools without power and some with tree damage. Elementary and middle school principals are taking stock and will huddle with district officials at the 8 o'clock hour. Petley said the district is currently taking things on a school-by-school -school basis. AP exams have also been cancelled by many schools. District staff and administrators at the Aquilina Howell Center were advised to stay home because access to the office may be blocked due to tornado damage and inaccessible roads. Tallahassee Community College will be closed on Friday due to impacts from severe weather. College locations that will be closed today are Main Campus, Gadsden Center, Gasvini Center for Healthcare Education, Wakulla Center, and Wakulla Environmental Institute. College services are suspended at the Center for Innovation. The Florida Public Safety Institute will remain open and operational. Holy.